All right, Shalom. First off, give all praise unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rukhakadash. The bonds to the apostles and there of the GMS. Salute to the honesty elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and truth and sincerity in the women and children who follow. So, we're going to call this lesson Uproars of the People. Because uh, I have a couple videos here that I'm going to show that was taken just in the past like two, three days. Okay? Showing that there are a lot of uproars of the people. Now, a lot of people may say, oh, well, there's always been uproars of the people, this and that. But not at this scale. Okay? When you watch these videos, you weren't able to do this in the ancient world. You weren't able to do this a lot of times just 50 years ago. Okay? But, um, let's start off. I'm going to get this precept. This is, uh, Second Ezra chapter 9. And I start at the top. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou hast seen part of signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that at the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay? That's, that's a powerful scripture right there, man. It's a lot of meat in there. I right, said to measure the time diligently in itself. Okay? Know what time you're in. Like I said, in the ancient world, you weren't able to do these upwards of the people. In the ancient world, you weren't able to to have these assemblies and have all these groups of people come together. All right? They'd be shot down. The, the, the sheer technology of social media and the internet makes makes it able for these people to get together like this because that's the the main way that people are getting together are right, through social media and they're organizing these events so they can have you know thousands of people there in some cases millions of people there okay uh, let me see it says um for like as all things is made in the world have the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Okay, the end is showing itself. When you when you read the newspaper, when you watch the news, when you you know go to these um, worldwide websites like uh, BBC, Al Jazeera, RT, you know, just to name a few. And you get a real sense of what the world is, opposed to this false sense of what the world is when you're watching this Americanized news. It, it manifests itself, it shows itself what's really going on in the world. Okay, so I'm going to just um, I'm gonna briefly discuss the three clips that I have, and then I'll just show them back to back to back. So in the first clip, you're going to see. It uh, takes place in China. Now, in China, there's a, an uproar. Let me see. I'm going to pause this video real quick. So, in China, which really is, um, is Hong Kong to be specific. Now, in order to go into the conflict that's happening in Hong Kong, you have to understand the history of Hong Kong. Hong Kong was a... Um, a British colony, just like America was, just like a bunch of other countries were, but uh, it's now under, it's no longer under British rule, but it's not necessarily under Chinese rule either, okay, um, it's almost like an independent city-state, it, because it has its own um, version of autonomy. Which is basically, it rules itself, it governs itself. It has a rule with China saying that's basically, it's one country, but two systems. So, 
take it how you want to how you want to take it. All right, it's part of China, but it's not part of China. Now the big deal is they came up with this legislative this legislative bill basically to extradite criminals from Hong Kong and from um from Taiwan to China to the mainland where you know their courts they're ran by the government pretty much you know so that's what the people are um in such an uproar about all right who wants to be persecuted in China you know you had a uh, the the incident a couple years back with um one of the uh, is a some basketball players from UCLA, they went to China and they stole some from Louis Vuitton store, and you know Trump had to get involved, uh, Levar Ball had to get involved, you know, to try to get his son back. So it's a big deal to you know to commit a crime in China. Okay, Hong Kong is a little bit more lax, but um, that's the first video that you'll see. This is what they're doing in Hong Kong because of that bill. Alright, now the second video that you'll see takes place in Sudan. Now we know how there's been um, war war in Sudan. You have Northern Sudan, you have Southern Sudan now. Basically you have a, a Christian society, you have a Muslim society. Now, it's, it's pretty much post-war, you know, um, and the military is still ruling. The military has has power. Opposed to just being a military, it's actually being a leadership. No, the people want the military to hand over leadership to the people and just defend the people. But of course, you know, when you get that power, you don't want to give it up. So that's what's going on in the second clip. The third clip, um, while it is still being an uproar of the people, it's more there to show you that they're not playing. Okay? The third clip is from France. Um, and it's it's a it's the smallest of the, the three protests. I believe it's only like four hundred people. But they're protesting climate change. But when you see what they do to them, and it just shows you that they don't care. And when it's time to roll, they're going to roll. When that comes to America, that's the spirit that they're going to have. That spirit that you're going to see in this third clip. I'm not going to spoil it. You got to watch to, to see what happens. But, um, yeah, with that being said, you know, we are at the end of this thing. So that's, that's why I wanted to bring that out in, um, Second Ezra's, also like it says in, in Matthew 24 chapter, it says, um, these are the beginning of sorrows. So, yeah, we are at the end of this thing, but we are at the beginning of the troubles that they're <clears throat> stuck in, that we're going to have to face, man. And this right here, this is low level stuff. Are right, there going to be more challenges? There's going to be famines, okay? There's going to be disease and pestilence. It's going to be all kind of obstacles that you as a man of the Lord are going to have to overcome, okay? So, with that being said, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekar Kadash, the bondage to our apostles and the elders of GMS, salutes and honesty the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and truth and sincerity of women and children who follow, Shalom, and y'all enjoy these videos. Hope y'all are edified.
At least one person's been killed in mass protests taking place across Sudan. Thousands of people are demanding the military hand power to civilians. We can get the very latest now from our correspondent, Hiba Morgan, who's joining us live from Juba, that's in South Sudan. Uh, Hiba, bring us right up to date with the situation then in Sudan. Well, Marcin, just a few minutes ago, uh, the military council, the transitional military council, issued a statement saying that it has handed the Ethiopian mediation team its response to the proposal. Now, the Ethiopian mediation team has been threatened trying to bring together the two sides, the military council and the opposition coalition known as the Forces of Freedom and Change, which is leading the protest on the streets. Uh, the military council says that it has accepted uh, the, the basis of that uh, proposal, which includes uh, a, a sovereign council, one of the main issues of, of, the, of, of points of contention between the two sides. Now, that proposal says that there will be a sovereign council made up of civilians, uh, seven members, and uh, military representatives, seven members as well, as well as uh, 15 member, which will be agreed upon by both sides. And the military council is also saying that it is ready to start negotiations as soon as today. We're yet to hear from the opposition coalition known as the Forces of Freedom and Change if they will resume negotiations. What we do know is that there are thousands and thousands of people marching, not just in the streets of Khartoum, but other states as well, saying that they are going to uh, continue with their protests until a civilian-led transition government is in place. Uh, the Sudanese Professionals Association, which has been leading the calls for protests, have directed those in Khartoum to go ahead to the presidential palace to demand a civilian government as well as accountability uh, for those who were killed on June 3rd when the city in front of the armed headquarters was attacked and reported 100 people killed. Hiba Morgan, live in Juba. Thank you.